Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration acknowledging that Jesus Christ is our greatest treasure in life. We ask Him to help us make good choices, good decisions in life, so that we may acquire heavenly treasure for ourselves. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, 
Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the Spirit of Wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her, nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold in view of her is a little sand, and before her silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness, I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her company, and countless riches at her hands. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may give wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Make us glad for the days when you afflicted us, for the years when we saw evil. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Let your work be seen by your servants, and your glory by their children. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, indeed, the Word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. I 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings, it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, There is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters, or mother or father, or children or lands, for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We are already on the second Sunday that we are open to the public for the celebration of the Holy Mass. And I thank many of you who are here to celebrate physically this Mass with us here in this church. And also those who are outside, those who are patiently standing outside, those who have rode their bicycles, Pagod na pagod siguro kayo kakapadyak hanggang dito sa Intramuros, sa Manila Cathedral. Pero nagpapasalamat ko kami sa inyong pagtsatsaga at pagdarasal kasama namin. And we also thank those who are the thousands who are joining us online 
in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, the lesson that we will hear from our readings today, this Sunday, from the Word of God, is about making the right choice. Making the correct decision. Ang leksyon o ituturo sa atin ngayong araw na ito mula sa ating mga pagbasa ay ang pagkakaroon ng tamang desisyon. Tamang pagpili. Do you think, my dear brothers and sisters, making a right decision is important? Making a right choice is important? My dear brothers and sisters, making the correct choice and the correct decision is crucial in our life. Kaya nga, kapag gumagawa tayo ng desisyon, pinag-iisipan. At hindi lang natin pinag-iisipan, madalas pinagdarasal mo pa. Tama ba ako? Minsan, nagsisindi ka pa ng kandila sa simbahan. <laughs> Panginoon, bigyan mo ako ng tamang desisyon. We do not just think about making a good decision. We even pray for a right and correct decision. Why? Because a good and correct decision can bring us happiness and blessing. But a wrong and bad decision can spell crisis. So, it is important for us to always make the right decision. My dear brothers and sisters, let us go to our readings today and see how God teaches us that making a correct decision is itself a treasure. It is an important treasure to make a good decision. In our gospel passage today, we see how Jesus taught the rich young man to make a good decision. What did Jesus tell the rich young man? First, he said, you must strip yourself of every possession. Every treasure. He said to the rich young man, Go, sell everything that you have. Give to the poor. And you will have treasure in heaven. Ang sabi ni Jesus doon sa mayamang lalaki, binata, ang sabi sa kanya, Ibigay mo lahat. Huwag kang magtitira sa sarili mo at magkakaroon ka ng kayamanan sa langit. But the rich young man, did he make a good decision? He chose to leave Jesus and he went away sad. He made the wrong decision. Kapag ang decision mo ay mali, talagang malulungkot ka. And then the disciples asked Jesus, "What about us? We have left everything for you. Where is our treasure? It is as if the disciples were asking Jesus, Where is our treasure? And it is in this that Jesus teaches them 
the greatest treasure that you have now is not those that you have left. The greatest decision that you have, the greatest treasure that you have, is making the right decision. When we are left with nothing, we realize that the greatest treasure we have is making the right decision. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ang itinuturo po ni Jesus sa atin ngayon, ang mga kayamanan ay mawawala. Kapag nawala na lahat ng yan, makikita natin ang pinakamahalagang kayamanan natin ay ang pagdedesisyon ng tama. Kapag tayo ay marunong magdesisyon ng tama, yan ang pinakamalaking kayamanan na mayroon tayo. Could you imagine, for example, giving a person with all the treasures in the world, but he doesn't have wisdom to make a correct decision? Do you think that man will spend his treasure wisely? Halimbawa ko, binigyan natin ng isang tao ng kayamanan. Pero hindi siya marunong gumawa ng mabuting desisyon. Tingin nyo ba ay gagastusin niya ng tama ang pera niya? O gagamitin lamang niya ito sa kung ano-anong masamang paraan? My dear brothers and sisters, in this time of pandemic, many of us have realized that treasures will fade. Treasures will go. When you are afflicted with COVID-19, there is no rich, there is no poor. Hindi sinasabi ng COVID-19, ang akin lamang hahawaan ay ang mahihirap. Hindi. COVID-19 affected us. Treasures faded away. But what remains is our treasure of making the right and good decision. And this treasure no one can take away from you. I remember last year, during the first months of the pandemic, there was a priest, an old priest in Italy. The northern part of Italy was greatly affected at the beginning of this pandemic last year. March 2020. Siguro po naaalala nyo pa, napapanood natin sa telebisyon, punong-puno ang mga ospital sa Italia. There was an old priest. He was 72 years old. He has a ventilator, a breathing machine. He was afflicted with COVID-19. He saw a young man, also with COVID-19, having difficulty breathing. A man much younger than him. You know what his decision was? He said, Give my ventilator to that young man. I am already old. He is very young. Give to him the breathing machine. At the hospital bed, he has no treasure. He has nothing. He even had only a breathing machine. But the greatest treasure for him is to make the right decision the correct choice. 
he sacrificed. He gave the breathing machine to the young man. The priest eventually passed away. The young man lived. He had no other treasure other than that breathing machine. But he saw the greatest treasure, and that is making the correct decision. That is why in our first reading today from the Book of Wisdom, Solomon made the correct choice. Solomon was asked by God, What will you choose? All the riches of the world or wisdom and prudence? Sabi ng Diyos kay Solomon, Ano ang pipiliin mo? Kayamanan o pagkarunungan? Ano ang pinili ni Solomon? Karunungan. Aanhin mo nga naman ang kayamanan at kapangyarihan kung hindi ka marunong magdesisyon. Kaya tama ang desisyon ni Solomon. Ang pinili niya ay karunungan. What will you do with power and riches if you do not have the treasure of knowing to make good and right decision. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us also listen to the second reading today from the letter to the Hebrews. The second reading tells us today that we are creatures and in front of God, in front of His Word, we are naked. We are exposed. We do not hold anything in front of God, our Creator. And when we hold nothing anymore, we realize the greatest treasure, and that is to make the good decision, to make the godly decision, to choose God. Kapag wala na tayong hawak, wala na tayong kayamanan, kagaya ng nararanasan ng marami sa atin ngayong pandemya na ito, kapag wala na tayong anumang kayamanan, haharap tayo sa Diyos. At ang tangi nating kayamanan ay ang piliin siya, ang mahalin siya, ang gawin ang tama, ang piliin ang tama. My dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday, we are being taught by the Word of God that making the right decision is the greatest treasure that we have now. Please, let us make the correct and right decision. This is the heavenly treasure that Jesus is offering us. No one can take this away from you. The pandemic can take away your treasures. The pandemic can take away your riches. But this pandemic cannot take away your choice. The ability to make the right decision. Let us pray to God in this celebration of the Eucharist. Lord, you are our greatest treasure. Help us always to make the right, the correct, and the good decision in life. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus Christ challenges us to exchange the material riches of this world for His eternal wisdom. Our prayers as His people can help us enter His kingdom. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Catholic Church may free men and women from materialism and folly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That wealthy nations may share their resources with poor nations and not exploit them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians who are rich may learn the wisdom of sharing their wealth with generous charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have wisdom to understand and interpret God's living and active word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may inherit eternal life and the riches of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass. Let us also offer special prayers for those who are sick right now, especially those who are recovering from COVID-19. And also let us offer special prayers for our healthcare workers and frontliners. Most loving Father, hear the petitions of your people you have gathered at this altar to hear your word of wisdom and to be nourished by your beloved Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over 
to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours he humbled himself and was born of the virgin by the passion of the cross he freed us from an ending death and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.
let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We would like to thank all of you for coming here to the Manila Cathedral and always for your patience in following our safety and health protocols. Maraming salamat po sa inyong patuloy na pagpapasensya at pagtsatsaga sa pagdiriwang dito ng ating mga banal na misa kasama ng mga health protocols. At uh, gayon din po ay pagpapatuloy pa rin natin ng pagdarasal natin para sa mga kapatid nating yumao. You may offer your prayers and you may offer masses for our faithful departed uh, here at the Blessed Souls Chapel. That is the second chapel to your right. After the mass, you may go there and you may light candles and offer masses for the faithful departed, especially as we come near the commemoration of our faithful departed. And we also thank all of you who have continuously uh, supported and helped the Manila Cathedral, especially our online viewers from here in the country and abroad also. Thank you for your support and for following us always. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God, Always keep every adversity, sickness, and danger far from you. And in his kindness, pour out upon you the gifts of his blessing now and forever. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness now and forever. Amen. And so, may you always understand and choose what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.